everyone and welcome back to another Amiibo review. As you saw in the title, I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing the Rider Link Amiibo from uh, the Breath of the Wild series of Amiibo. And also, you'll see a little light about right there. Um, and uh, hopefully that won't bother you because I just could not figure out the right lighting for this video. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, um, the, like I said, the Amiibo I'm reviewing is the Rider Link Amiibo and that's what you want to see, so I'm going to stop stalling. As always, if you consider uh, places, uh, places, weapons, um, clothing, items to be spoilers, then you have been warned. But how I'm going to do this is I'm going to look at the amiibo by itself, and then I'm going to look at what it does in game, and I'll give a final, uh, final kind of um, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, Review, I guess, which is kind of what I'm gonna do. Anyway, like I said, reviewing the actual figure. Um, I do like the way this one looks, and uh, it's it's uh, it's very interesting. Let me just kind of put my hand down here so it won't like move anything to make it weird. <laughs> anyway, so I think I've already kind of made it weird. So yeah, never mind. I'm good at making things weird. Let me adjust the camera a little bit as well, which makes it even more. Weird. Wow. Alright, so I am obviously... I mean, I shouldn't call myself weird. I don't know. I don't know. I do me, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, like I said, um, I like the figure of this amiibo, and I will be uh, giving my favorite... I will be giving my favorite thing about how this amiibo looks, and I will be giving my least favorite thing about how this amiibo looks. Basically, my favorite and least favorite thing about how it looks. I, uh, I absolutely... Love the fact that the horse looks like it's just ready in some sort of battle stance, I guess you would call it. And it's, it's interesting looking. And something that I actually noticed, and you guys probably won't be able to see correctly. Oops, just whacked it. Okay. Oops, alright. So, something you guys probably won't be able to see correctly is that there's a sheath there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. You see the sheath right right there. Uh, right there. That's the sheath right there. Alright. So that, that's that's the sheath right there. So, look at the size of the sheath against the side of the sword. You know, the size of the sword. It just, it bugs me. I'm like, they're not the same size. The sheath is way too small to fit that sword in there. So, unless Link just carries it in his hand the whole time, it, it just bugs me. It's a little, little thing that I'm like, that's not how logic works. But, whatever. I mean, it's just a little thing that bugs me some. Um, yeah. So, I do uh, like the fact. Um, I also, I noticed, I also noticed about... I think a month ago, that if you look under Link's hood, and uh, you guys probably won't be able to see this, but he has no eyes. If you look under Link's hood, he has no eyes. You guys probably can't see it. But he has no eyes, you know? it. it <laughs> that also made me confused. I mean, I know the hood's supposed to be over his head, you know? Um, but eh, he has no eyes! That bothers me! I mean, eh, whatever. It's still an okay amiibo. And, you know, uh, the reason I say it's still an okay amiibo is because of what it does into the game. So, yeah, that was the actual review of how I think about the amiibo. Oh, that's actually way better if I just hold it up in the light. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, you can kind of see. Um, you can kind of see that Link has no eyes. But now on to how I feel about what it does in the game. So, um, yeah, this is kind of what it does in the game. It's not the exact... Um, as far as I know, you do not get a horse for this amiibo, but you might. So I just used one of my horses that I found in-game. So, yeah, that, that happened. Um, in case you guys didn't know, his name's Starlight. I, I don't know why I named him that. I don't know. But he's my horse. I, I think I've he's the first horse I ever got. So I'm just going to use him because he's cool. He's a cool horse. Anyway... So yeah, uh, basically what it does, you might be like, does it give you this horse? Well, I, it might give you a horse, I do not know. But, I do know for one thing that it gives you the Traveler's Saddle and Traveler's Bridle. And this, uh, yeah, it's uh, basically it's um, different from the original uh, bridle and saddle that you get from uh, normally in-game. Uh, I don't, it's, it's labeling it as a horse in the game, not actually the bridle, so you guys are gonna have to deal with that. But, um, it's, uh, it's basically something that you can find in this amiibo, and no, you don't have to scan once and get the bridle, and then scan again and get the thing.
thing. Uh, if if you see two chests fall out of the sky, that's when you know. All right, I got my I got the saddle and the bridle. So you can basically put this saddle and bridle on your horse, which is very cool. See, he looks happy. Obviously, now um, you can put the saddle and bridle on your horse if you go to a certain area in the game. Um, and customize them, uh, customize your horse, him, her, I don't know what your horse's gender is, don't, 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 don't get mad. Uh, yeah, so yeah, um, you can kind of, like, do this and that, and, uh, the, um, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say! Never mind, I remembered. <laughs> you, uh, it has a unique design from the, uh, original, from the normal, um, you know, stable gear that you usually would get for your horse. It's way more unique, and I think the most unique thing about it is that you have a, uh, a chest, uh, not really a chest, you have like a satchel and a, you know, a little, whatever you'd call it, I think that's more like a sleeping bag or whatever, I don't know. Uh, you know, you kind of have like a, a satchel and a sleeping bag, and so that's that's cool, and I think the uh, the noticeable thing about the uh, the Traveler's uh, bri um, bridle is that, uh, you know, it's a little bit different colored than everything else. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm zooming in is on his nose. Anyway, yeah, but I, I do like it. I like what it does, and also, you know, your your horse does your horse does ride the same. It, it's it's nothing different. And also I might know, uh, you do have to uh you do have to have um you do have to have uh max bond with whatever horse you find in the wild and you have to bring it to this certain spot which is uh let me let me show you uh the outskirts stable uh you ha if you found the outskirts stable good go there basically there is uh this lady over here uh that lady um hang on okay you stay there that lady over there she will customize your horses you know saddle bridle but only if you have max bond so that's uh that's how you change your horses uh, saddle, bridle, and even hair. You can change his hair if you want, I don't know. You can change his hair, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but, um, also, something that I don't know why I'm going, uh, I don't know why I'm gonna do this, but, I mean, just to show you what other things you can get, you can basically get, like, swords, uh, swords, and, you know, arrows, I believe, and, uh, basically, the main, uh, the main item of this that drops, the, basically, the main item that drops around the chest is mushrooms, I believe. So if you if you scan in the amiibo, you get a bunch of mushrooms. And hopefully your horse doesn't freak out. Chill, 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 relax. It's no big deal. <laughs> uh, hopefully your horse doesn't freak out. You will get a bunch of mushrooms. Uh, you can just run around and pick those mushrooms up. And in the chest, this time, I managed to get a royal broadsword. So yeah, that's that's that. My inventory's full. We don't need this, though. So I'm just gonna, uh... Where, where, yeah, Master Sword. Just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of this. There it goes. All right. So we did not need that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah. Uh, this is the main. The main function of it is to most likely give you this. Uh, this is probably what you're gonna want from it. Uh, is the is the saddle and bridle. Uh, so that's that's um that's fun. I, I like uh I like the horse ability. I, I like that you can get horses. Um, in game, you know, your own horse. It, it's not just a pona this time. You can have whatever horse you want. So, um, yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. So, uh, you can also customize your horse, like I said. And, uh, that that's most likely my favorite part of having the horse is not only riding them around, but you can you can give them their own custom style. Yeah. So, uh, that's what this amiibo does. You can, you know, get certain things, and I don't really want the master sword on, so I'm gonna unequip that. So yeah, that's that. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, so, and obviously I don't know what I'm talking about, because that's, uh, that's just obvious. Now, yeah. Anyway, like I, uh, like I did not say, I actually didn't say this in the beginning of the video, I'm going to give you a final, um, final, like, number review of a one, one through ten. It's gonna be my final opinion on this amiibo. And, uh, whether or not... You know, I think if you guys would like it or not. Now, I personally, I like I like how the what this amiibo does. Now, do I like how it looks? I mean, how the actual amiibo itself looks is okay, but what it does in the game, it's nice. It's uh, I I really like the horse mechanic. Like I had said, what it does in the game, it just helps you get you know 
some more new cool, you know, armor for your horse, and I like that part of it. And, uh, you know, customizing your horse is also a thing. Like I've said multiple times, I don't know why I'm restating it, I just, I just feel like it. Now, <laughs> yeah, you can, my, my final opinion, though, uh, like you guys have been wanting to hear, uh, my final opinion on this is, uh, probably I'm going to have to give it a 7 or 8 out of 10. I, uh, I do like this one. I do like it. It's, it's nice. I like having it. It's very fun. Uh, you can just, it, I like the, uh, I like the, the design of the armor a whole bunch. Uh, like I said, I like the design of the whole, uh, armor. You know, I, I like it, and, uh... Just, I, I think my favorite part about the actual uh, armor set is that you you can just have a little extra stuff, you know, on on the uh, the, the horse. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. You can basically have you know your little satchels on the side and a little a uh, little travel bag as well. I just like that little detail when you're when you're riding across the land of Hyrule. You uh you'll you would want to uh you know just. Kind of just take a chill little ride and see, uh, see which, you know, I don't know. So it's, it's just cool. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Don't, don't run away. <laughs> yeah, but it's just nice seeing that little extra detail than the normal, uh, stable saddle. Uh, it just basically has a bunch more detail, and I love the horse, I love the horses in this game. I, I do. Even though if I don't say it much in my Breath of the Wild playthrough, which you should totally go check out, right? <laughs> Obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. Like I said. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that was my Amiibo review for Rider Link. Sorry if it was a little awkward. I I went through multiple reshoots, and uh, that was embarrassing. So I'm kind of doing this for the third time, and it's getting a little annoying. So sorry if I seemed a little harsh today. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, as, uh, as always, and, uh, if you, my, my final opinion, like I said, was, you know, probably seven or eight. Um, and if you guys do want to pick it up, I remember finding it somewhere for about $15, I believe. So if you guys do want to go, uh, find this, uh, find this and get it for yourself, I believe you can find it for a nice $15. So yeah, anyway guys, that'll probably have to end my Amiibo review, and, uh, I will have to thank you for watching, uh, and if... If you enjoyed it, then I guess this is the first time I've said this in a while. If you enjoyed this video, I guess leave a like. And if you have any opinions on this amiibo, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, I guess that wraps it up for today's video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Anyway, guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah, that's neat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but okay. Anyway, guys, I guess I'll see you later. Bye! At this point, I'm just embarrassing myself, aren't I?